as a person, um, being that you were a reserved person to begin with, how have you changed with your success? Um, that's a that's a tricky one. Your dad just messaged me. What did he say? Asking if we're streaming at one p.m. Sorry, Jack. That's because of Eli. He started late, but um, all good. What? I'm <laughs> <laughs> just throwing it on Eli. <laughs> Cheers. So you're a reserved person? Um, yeah, uh, I don't... Tell, tell, what do you think from an outside perspective? Because you've known me before, I guess, I was successful to, to, to how I am now. Do you know how people say... Here we go. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm here, here, here we go. When he, when he looks into like <laughs> the never-ending abyss, you know it's coming. No, I'm just saying like, you know how some people say like, He's never changed. He was the same as he was before. I agree. But he wasn't much to begin with. But <laughs> <laughs> No, but, but I have to say, like, um, no, there hasn't been a, there hasn't been a huge amount of, um, like, you've changed, but I have to say that all the changes have been positive. And I think a lot of that's because a lot of the times it's not you that changes, the people around you that change. Mm. Um, you know, Mark Hunt said that, Mike Tyson said that, I'm sure other people have said that, but generally I'd imagine so that it's not you that changes, the people around you that change. And I think, um, the, like your achievements have never been like, oh, you're the world champion, you know, and then all of us are like, oh, he's a world champion. And I, I don't know. I can't imagine, I can't imagine fawning over people like that. So I, I don't think that anyone in your circle has, um, has changed like that and um we're all driving forward so this the fact that that you're the champion at the moment that's just like a an arbitrary thing you know what i mean like mm. you are but we have other plans outside of fighting mm. inside of fighting new guys coming up that great if you keep the belt you're going to fight your hardest for as long as you can and if you can keep the belt that's awesome and if you don't we have other things waiting but it's never been um I think that that attitude within the team is what keeps everyone going. You yeah, know? it's not very down to earth attitude. Yeah, I don't know if and, it's a down. Very pragmatic, yeah, I'd say. And seeing that you're not, we're not something special. Like the belt doesn't mean anything. Really. No, nah, I, I don't. I don't think you know, I, it's I just know. a result of. Have you seen a lot of change in Rob since you've known him? No, no, none, none whatsoever. And that was I met Rob before he was the champion. Did the Gracie program. Started your main group to watch him become the champion. Um, now I live down here and interact with him all the time and that now he's always been the same person but again I think he's mentioned it that you could change if everyone in your circle changed yeah do you know what I mean if you become the champion and they start getting them fresh towels for you and charging you money like yeah <laughs> you know you know who did change became a bit of an attention whore was Alex Alex Prado <laughs> wow. yeah. every chance he gets on Instagram yeah. everything everything that's that's the only, follow Alex Prado's on Instagram please do him the favor yeah. um he's the only one but everyone else has stayed more or less down to earth um yeah, but I think I, I definitely think that, that that's the, the biggest yeah. thing is like how everyone else around you changes. Mm. But you see that, you see dudes and, and I'm not I'm not bagging people on this because I, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Maybe it's for the better, you know what I mean? But you see people and, and, and there are times where yeah, you do need to get and you have as well, like there are times where you have to get rid of people as well. You know, it doesn't mean yeah. you you stay the same. Like I'm not friends with the guy I was friends with in year three, you know what I mean? Just to stay loyal. That's fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go find him Stuart Talkington um, I don't know how you remember that he threw up on me in kindergarten that guy that's how I remember and that's how he's bonded well we were talking <laughs> actually I used to work in a nightclub and I saw him in the nightclub he came up to me he's like da 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 we were talking I said to him man he threw up on me I remember he turned to me I still was he threw up this brown stuff man. <laughs> I don't know what he was eating but I remember he turns over to me and I could barely speak English and he goes Fabricio and I said, I must have said yes, either in Spanish or I must have seen you. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> and, me. and we were friends for a long time, but you know, he's he's a graphic designer now. I think he was last time I spoke to him. <laughs> but I'm not friends with him now. You know what I mean? See? <laughs> I'm assuming that's what I would have said to him. 